friends, how are you? I hope your day goes nothing short of amazing as it should go. It's a lot of drama floating around these YouTube streets. I mean, like, it is flooded. So you already know I had to pick up the phone and call my friends. Let's get right into it. With that being said, let's roll the clips. Actually, friends, I'm not going to roll the clips just yet. I want to talk a little bit about Ming's live. Did you guys see it? Like, sis literally cut Jazz off and said, I am done with you in the nicest way <laughs> publicly at that. I mean, Jazz didn't even get a phone call, which I did not really expect because Jazz has been moving real messy, real desperate, real sometimes -y. So I knew this was going to happen. Strong Mommy Chrissy, on the other hand, I feel like she's letting Jazz down easy you know what i mean like she's going easy on her it's like i'm gonna ease away from you i'm not really gonna be in your lives as much as i used to be i'm not really jacking you but i'm not going to ignore you that's the vibes that strong mommy chrissy was giving me but ming said sis i had enough <laughs> i am done and i do not blame her um live has a way of coming into things and just ghettoing it up and stirring the pot, <laughs> poking the bear and throwing the stick. That is what she does. And Jasmine is such an idiot for allowing her to lose yet another friend. Like, Jazz, do you really think that you can depend on live for anything? Do you think that this girl will genuinely continue to be your friend she was never your friend quite frankly i don't think ming and chrissy were ever your real friends i think they just tolerated you and dragged you along for the look of things because you know it was something that they thought was going to be hot at the time everybody was like wow you know look at these four girls coming together gang 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 <laughs> i saw through that shit to be honest with you i seen through it but yeah um ming she basically said she's been telling jazz like why are you friends with this girl she made up so many lies about you basically seeing you stupid idiot <laughs> let me just say that and jazz would tell her oh no it's not like that you know like jazz was saying to us oh no we're all just like you know i just want to be cool with everybody like dummy looking for acceptance all in the wrong places like so high school this whole situation is so high school to me to be honest but i mean hey to each their own right but yeah so ming was saying how she has seen uh jazz and live in each other's comments in the past and she will go to jazz like yo and this is right after the incident of olivia exposing them all she would go to jazz like yo what's going on why are you guys like what's going on here and jazz told her again oh it's not like that all the while it was always like that jazz was begging for another friend i don't know what she sees and live what makes her so desperate to want to be this girl's friend i don't get it not one bit like do you not see how everyone who comes into contact with this girl leaves they head for the hills quick fast do you not get it live is big toxic okay jazz you might want to let it go now, but at this point, she's probably all you have left, so you might as well stay. But yeah, Ming said she's not having it. She said this is it. She is done. She said they deserve each other, and that is it. As far as Liv coming into the equation initially, I always side-eyed it. I always thought it was bullshit because you could tell, like, they weren't, Chrissy and Ming, they weren't really jacking her. It was just like, you know, let's just do this for show. We're going to get it done. You could tell there was some tension. It was never genuine. Now, Jazz being the happy, ooh, look, I got friends, mom ass bitch. She was the only one who seemed to be so excited because I don't think she's ever been accepted in a group. You know what I mean? Like, she was never, like, clicked up with any girls. Like, I feel like she was opposite of you can't sit with us <laughs> you know i feel like they were telling her you can't sit with us and um she probably was you know off somewhere with the boys shooting dice or playing basketball you know the things they do but um yeah jazz i cannot understand for the life of me why 
you would sacrifice any other relationship for Olivia. Liv, like I said, is big toxic, okay? Big toxic. That girl does not need to be around you, especially with everything you have going on right now, because she is going to sell your story to the highest bidder. Actually, you know what? <laughs> I think she'll expose you for free because she's done it in the past just for, you know, her little 7,000 views. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jazz, do me a favor. Do not confide in this girl. And I could tell, like, I could just read your energy. You're the type of female that just confides in anyone and thinks every and anybody are your friends. Like, you just get attached real quick. Jazz you are in no position to do so do you understand me you have way too much going on to have negative nancy herself i mean the ambassador for negativity miss olivia <laughs> to be in, in your circle you have to like you got at this point you have a square the circle is gone it's gone is you live chris <laughs> and the kids that's your square um, guys, please excuse all of the noise in the background. They are still working outside of my house. Quick little disclaimer. But yeah, I knew it was going to come to this. I knew it was. I knew it. I knew it was going to come to this. And Jazz sitting there alive, like she's so confused. She doesn't know what's going on, which annoys the hell out of me. Jazz, you know exactly what's going on. You know Ming is <laughs> putting you on blast because she's tired of you being a flip-flopper thirsty to be friends with somebody like live like ill so my advice to you is to get rid of that big bowl of toxic and continue to work on being better for your children you don't need friends right now what you need to do is focus on them children before someone takes them from you and i am going to move on guys did you see chris on live <laughs> I can not, you know, I had to speak on that because I honestly think that it was all a damage control tactic, but he thinks that we aren't clever enough to see that. With that being said, let's actually roll the clips now. Why do I do what? Okay, we're not going to play these games. Let me just assume that the person was asking, why did you allegedly put your hands on Jasmine's child, Aiden? And why are you always off somewhere with those little girls? Allegedly, this is what I think that this commenter was asking. Y'all need to meet someone, friends, and do some double days. Uh, yeah, really with the people I'm close with, I really just don't just meet up with people and what? I'm reading the comments. Yeah, I really don't just meet up with people, random people. I don't trust people like that. As if, Chris, we all know good and well that you are embarrassed of the woman who you are quote-unquote with right now. And you will not bring her around a family member, not a friend, or a perfect stranger for that matter. You are just embarrassed of Jazz. It is so evident in the way you look at her. Let's be honest, Chris. Yeah, it's too much sadness in the world. Too much sadness, man. They don't know how to just keep God first and just keep moving. You know what I'm saying? Since they life miserable, they want to make everybody else's life miserable. Which is lame as hell to me. Why do these people think that everyone who has an opinion on their pathetic lives are miserable? Not everybody is miserable. We are entitled to our opinion. Do you not understand that? And when the hell did you and Jazz become Tamala Man and Kirk Franklin? I'm hearing a whole lot of God around here all of a sudden. Yet you guys are shacking up. And you have a tacky exhibit that you recently got rid of off of the counters of bottom shelf alcohol. <laughs> like, let's not go there, Chris. And I'm not saying that you know christian people god-fearing people don't drink and don't fornicate and shack up but they're also not on here trying to act like pastors nuns and priests okay and also christopher those four children are really the ones who are living in a sad world due to you infiltrating their family for the sake of somewhere to live and meet to grow okay that's who said 
those babies. And that is why we speak, not because we are miserable, Chris. And this nigga, and, and, and nigga like me, I don't sweat shit like that, to be honest with you. I don't sweat shit like that. Y'all, what y'all gonna say about me, bro? Is that y'all gonna y'all gonna say whatever y'all wanna say about me, man? You know what I'm saying? And what type of gentleman would I be to let allow y'all to interfere with my peace? You feel me? Why would I let y'all interfere with my peace? First of all, Christopher, you are no gentleman. I am pretty sure Jazz is the only person on this green earth that believes so and also you claim to not be a man who is going to allow anyone to disturb your peace chris that is an absolute lie because there are many videos to prove otherwise there are videos including one of my own of you disrespecting her viewers especially women cursing yelling and just being plain old nasty so how exactly do you not allow people to disturb your peace please explain chris and what peace what is peaceful about looking over your shoulder ducking authorities because you can't be man enough to pay for the children that you made please tell me what is peaceful about living in a home with children that you don't like what is peaceful chris Y'all lame, I swear. Y'all get no points, bro. Y'all make me laugh. I don't get mad, so y'all ain't gonna get to me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not gonna get to me. Y'all lame as hell, though. No, Chris, you don't get any points, and you're lame as hell for allegedly dragging a toddler while spanking him. A toddler who is nonverbal and defenseless, that is what I call him. Like, for real. Niggas not worried about what y'all saying. That shit is, to me, it's just all caps. Y'all, y'all just lame. Nobody mad, man. I just wanted to come on and just say hi to y'all. It's just been a minute. That's it. Nothing too special. Like for real, do y'all know us? Y'all hear y'all see that 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 comment? Do y'all know us? Do y'all really know us? Do y'all really know me? See, friends, I feel like they are trying to insult our intelligence. We know, Jasmine and Chris, that you guys going live back to back, trying to come on camera, pretending as much as you can that everything is fine, everything is cool, you are unfazed and unbothered. It is simply a damage control tactic. We are not stupid. We see right through it. Chris sits here and claims to just want to come on and say hi and to not be bothered and he's not addressing the negativity yet that is what he is doing unconsciously you guys are such idiots and jasmine when did you become a damage control expert i think you need to shut up in the background because i don't know if you guys heard but she's like oh that's what they want you to do basically trying to coach chris not to say anything or not to say too much jazz you've already said too much you've already done too much the damage is done. There is no control. Okay? This is what you need to get through your head. There is no damage control for you and your boyfriend at this point. Get ready for the ride because it is going to be a wild one. It's been a lot of time together. He seems to like you. You talking about a boogie man, little alien? That's my boy, man. That's my little man's. Like he. He's my little partner, man. Okay, guys. So did you see how one of Jasmine's delusional supporters drags it and tells Chris that it seems like Aiden likes him? Come on, guys. Let's be honest. Aiden cannot stand that man. 
That's why he's always clinging to Jazzy every time Chris is around. Aiden stays clear of Chris. We all have seen it. We all know it. And then here goes Chris. Oh, who? A boogie? Yeah, that's my little man. Boy, if you don't get all the way out of here, you don't like him and he doesn't like you. And on top of it all, body language is key. You guys, do you see how he can even make eye contact with the viewers when he stated that he likes Aiden? You want me to tell you why? Because he does not like Aiden. And he is well aware of the fact that Aiden does not like him because he honestly treats Aiden like he hates his existence. We see it. You guys are not fooling us. <laughs> it's like comical. Definitely can't steal my joy. Damn, you mean I can't look at my woman? So I'm going to go ahead and assume that one of the concerned viewers asked Chris, why do you keep looking at Jazz? And he responds saying, what, I can't look at my woman? Oh, now all of a sudden you want to look at her, Chris? Because every other time you look at the girl, you look at her in disgust. You look at her like you hate her entire existence. But now you want to look at her because you're scared. Yeah, Chris, you're feeling the heat. So you're looking at the quote unquote social media expert like, what should I say, babe? Do I address this? And Jazz is in the background like the damn basketball coach she is trying to coach somebody when she can't even coach her damn self. Come on, stop the cap. I'm not worried about that. It's, no, facts, sassy. Definitely gonna stay humble. Real shit. They, that's all they want is drama, man. You know, if it ain't drama, they don't want nothing to do with it. Chris, I have to agree with that. I think you absolutely are worried about it. And I think that is the reason why you and your boyfriend decided to go live back to back after everything unfolded and after you were exposed. You weren't going live before this, so you absolutely are worried, Chris, let's be honest. And you say that people only want something to do with drama. No, that is not what we want. What we want is for those children to stop being abused and be provided a clean, loving environment. That is it and that is all. And the nerve of you out of all people to say that someone likes drama, just a couple of weeks ago, you were loving it when the heat was on Jazzy and Jazzy alone, right? You were right on live entertaining it, laughing and smiling and drinking your bottom shelf liquor. But now that the heat is on you, you don't want the smoke. Stop it. My fault, guys. I meant to say that I disagree and not that I agree because we all know I do not agree with anything Chris does or says. And I probably never will. Before we continue with this shit show of a live where is the vanity jazz where is the vanity as simple as that pull up now nah, i ain't drinking right now i'm good <laughs> i'm good that's crazy bro 277 people on here and there's only 21 likes that's crazy I've seen you learn something from Jazz, Chris. How to con people into liking videos they haven't completed yet. That is. You heard what Drilla said. Hit the like buttons. Haters. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I, man, I never, look. i never seen so much hate. I mean, of course I've seen niggas hate. You know what I'm saying? But this much hate, though, bro. Like, for real. Like, y'all crazy. Y'all like, let me let me ask y'all this for the haters, not the ones who support. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to I'm talking to the haters right now. What do you gain out of that? Like, I just want to know, like, what do y'all gain from that, bro? Because y'all not phasing me, like, like for real, like y'all not phasing me, bro. Like I promise you, like y'all is in the air, not the other. Like I don't listen to y'all. I don't I don't pay y'all no mind. Okay, here we go again with the calling the concerned viewers, haters. Everybody who has an opinion, like I stated before, is not a hater, you idiot. And as far as people disliking you, it is simply because you aren't a likable person. You give off a very 
nasty aura your demeanor is very ugh, to say the least and you seem like you were just like a mean guy i think that's why a lot of people don't like you not to mention the fact all of these allegations going around about you because of what your stupid girlfriend decided to upload that is why people don't like you no one hates you as far as answering your question i can't answer it as a hater however i will answer it as a concerned viewer what people get out of it is that we are bringing awareness to the abuse that those beautiful children have to endure at the hands of their mother first of all and allegedly at the hands of you it is that simple stop pretending like you do not get it you've seen the videos you are in the videos it is that simple chris okay friends at this point i am completely done reacting to this man's boring dragged out live he didn't say much from here on he pretended as if he didn't watch reactors which we all know that he does because i'm pretty sure after seeing my video that is what <laughs> encouraged him to come on and act right let me know if you agree down below and besides that he just sat there and continued to look at jasmine and lick his lips like he's ll cool j which i cannot stand <laughs> but yeah he didn't address anything important he is just going to continue to pretend like him coming on live is not just simply a damage control tactic. Like I've said earlier, we see through it, Jasmine and Chris, it is not going to work. The damage has been done. With that being said, friends, you already know the vibes. Like what you like, comment and subscribe if you aren't already. And I will talk to you down below and in the next video.